Good morning. Today I am going to show you a demonstration on how to pluck an Angora rabbit. Now a lot of people think, oh man, this is going to be so rough. And honestly, I don't do it with a lot of my rabbits. But today I was out here looking at Rolo. This is my little satin buck from the Springs Litter. And he is slipping his baby coat, but I'll show you something right here. On the top, I noticed right behind his ears, he's got some really short stuff. It's a really darker color, and that's his adult coat coming in. It's short, and as you can tell over here, we've got a difference between the short, darker coat here, and this long baby coat. They look different, and he's also she's shedding the baby coat out, so he's going to have to be plucked down. If I were to clip this coat right now, you can see... A and my kids are running around playing. You see, I've already plucked a little bit along his back. If I were to clip that down with scissors, I would get the longer spinnable bits here. They're a little short for spinning, but they'd work. But, and then I'd end up with a lot of tiny little short pieces from, um, from that adult coat coming in, and that would not be much good. Some rabbits do the thing called that having a double coat, two coats at one time, and the, but some don't. So it just kind of depends on your rabbit whether you're going to do this or not. All right, I'll show you how this works. And Rolo, he's pretty, pretty, pretty silly right here. He's hopping all around. Let's see what you do. Hold on, buddy. You grab a hold of, he's climbing on me now, of just the loose, the loose stuff. You don't want to grab onto the darker, shorter adult coat because that's not even going to pull out right now. So you just want the tips. Just kind of put a little bit of pressure gently yeah, and it just, I see that, Ricky? And that just pulls out. And that's the night, that's just the baby coat. And if you keep doing this, just kind of gently put pressure on it and just falls out by itself. Yeah. You keep doing that and it gets bigger and bigger. And pretty soon you have a darker colored bunny. And it's a little slow going. I think it's a little bit slower for me actually than clipping. But if I were to clip him now, I'd just completely lose what fiber I've got on him that I could use. And as you see, yeah. He's nice and shiny. He's a satin angora baby. And you see right here, this is the adult coat. Now, if I put a little pressure on that and pull, you see that does not really pull out. All I've got is a little bit of the short stuff or the longer stuff I missed earlier. So if you pull on that and put a little pressure on it, you don't, I mean, if you pulled hard, it would come off and that would hurt him. And that's not the purpose of plucking an angora. So you see, all you need to do is pull on that loose little bit there, give it a little pressure, and the tea wiggles around a little bit. It just Pull straight loose, and that is how you pluck a satin angora, or any angora that's pluckable. Sometimes there's a few English lines that are pluckable, and some English, when they're ready, they will, will pluck at to a point if they um if they've had their coat on long enough. But um, for the most part, a lot, there's a lot of French lines right now that are pluckable. Not all of them are. You just kind of have to learn your rabbit and learn your lines. This satin line is apparently very pluckable because I'm getting a really nice, even adult coat and his baby coat is clearly coming out. I caught it nice enough before it starts, um, caught it before it started matting or anything. He's had a very nice coat. But yeah, it's, that's very easy to do and a lot of people like to do this so they don't have to worry about, um, don't have to worry about clipping and actually cutting their bunny, which happens sometimes when you clip. It's just something that happens every once in a while the more practice you get less actual uh, less, well, less often that you accidentally cut the bunny let's see I've got this nice little handful here of nice spinnable fiber that I can spin or sell or whatever anyways I'll post a picture in a few minutes here of the finished bunny and his before and after shot thank you for watching